Whenever I'm taking my nieces somewhere, I look at the car seats and I just go blank because I don't consistently buckle them in that often, but I want to get it right, as do all of us. So we have an expert with us this morning from Hennepin Healthcare. This is Julie Philbrook. She is a longtime nurse here, works in trauma. So Julie, thanks for joining us, yeah, first thanks. of all. Yeah, thanks, good morning. So important to talk yeah, about this it is. all the time. Yeah. Um, so let's get right into it. Okay. What's well, the proper way to do it? Yep. Oh, but you got manuals here. I do. So the first thing you want to do is take out the manual for your car seat okay. and the manual for your vehicle and go to the child restraint section. Every seat is installed differently in every vehicle and even the seat positions can be different. So this is where you start. Okay. Okay. And then um, we've got this, this car seat installed rear facing. This okay. is an infant only, but you're gonna wanna have your kids rear facing until they're at least two years old. I kept my daughter till she was three years old. Okay. They're so much safer rear facing. Now, a lot of times people will come up and check it and think that it's loose, Yeah. but we actually check it down where the belt path goes through. So, so at the close base. to the base. So you don't want to be able to move it more than an inch side to side or an inch away from the back okay. and make sure that's tight. The other thing you want to have tight is the harness and the harness should be snug so that you can't take a pinch at the harness. So you want to make sure that you, you snug it up snug, especially um, if you've got thicker clothes on, mm -hmm. you want to have as thin a clothes on as you can yeah. um, so that the harness is on snug. And then this clip should be right at their armpit level to help keep that harness in place. Okay, great. Some great tips there. You being you know, a nurse for a long time, you've seen the unfortunate those side effects yes. of, of crashes and yes. how they affect children. So mm -hmm. coming up next hour, Julie's going to go over some of the common mistakes that a lot of us make when buckling in children.